back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to thank you to all of my subscribers thank you all for subscribing to stylish nigeria youtube channel i appreciate all of your love and all of your support okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to add a gorget to a skirt so that's a front gorget to a skirt so you can see the picture up there someone actually sent it to me to help her make an illustration of it so I'm just going to be showing you how to do it. It is a simple process and it is a beautiful skirt. So if you are new to the channel, you are highly and very, very, very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel here. You will learn how to cut and sew and all other tips on our Facebook page, on our Instagram, and then on Pinterest, all at Stylish Ninja. You can follow me on all of those platforms. Okay, so for this kind of skirt, if you, so let's first of all take a look at it because as a designer once you have the a client sends you dress a dress or a style the first thing you sit down and analyze it if you take a good look at the skirt you see that it is like a fish skirt or like an a-line skirt pattern so that is what we are going to use for those of you that know um my channel there was a time i posted two pieces skirts so you can also use that pattern also to create this skirt but for this we're just going to use the A-line pattern. So for that, I already have a very detailed video of A-line skirt pattern. So I'm going to drop the link in the description box in case you don't know how to do that. So what I'm just going to do now, I'm just going to be making this skirt in a mini way. So that's what I mean by mini way. That's a smaller measurement. So, but it is the same process. So once you watch it, you'll be able to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do, so your fabric, if you notice, take a good look at the skirt. You see that it has a slit in front. It has a joining. In front because for you to attach that gorget you need a joining on it so I have my fabric folded into two so I have two fabrics so I'm going to just create out my a line skirt right now so this is my knee line and then from there you just curve it down for those of you that don't know how to do this so if you notice you see that i cut both the back and the front together why i cut both of them the same is both of them have a slit at the back and then at the front so the, that same zipper allowance that is on the back piece is still the same thing that you have on the front piece so that is why i cut both of them the same so for this one i'm not going to be working on the back piece so this is our back piece you just open it into two that's all the god that is not on the back so we just keep that so now let's work on the, our front piece so this is our knee line so if you notice this skirt the the god that came from above the knee part so for this you are going, going to determine where you actually want it to be so the first the next thing before you do that let's open up the skirt i think it's easier that way let's open it on the center front okay so you can see our skirt is open now so the next thing you are going to think the check choose where you want it to start from so from there you see that it actually came above the knee part so I'm just going to come up here, almost just below the, the lap, that's the hip line. So this is my hip line. So I'll come down by two or three inches from the hip line point. So I think I'll come down to, okay, let's do three inches, it's perfect. So the next thing, I'm going to put a notch on that point where you want so this you can add it anyhow you want to but just follow the same process and you achieve that so i'm just going to notch it here now so after notching so we have here our god that is going to stay so the next thing we're going to start we're going to cut out the goddess now so for the goddess i'm going to use this pattern to cut it there before i transfer it to the Fabric. so god it's actually cut like a triangle so for this you can determine how wide you want it to be so that one is your own and depends on your fabric the amount of fabric you have that is what you will use 
as consideration when you are cutting out your budget. You can make it very big, you can make it very small. So it depends on what you want. So here's what you are going to do. You are just going to fold your fabric like a triangle like this. So you can fold your fabric like a triangle. And then make sure that this tip is, is slim. It's not very wide. And then you are going to measure what you have now. So let me use this one that has the mark. You are going to measure what you have from this point to this point. If you want it to have a tail like... You know, in this kind of goddess, you can add it to back of dresses also. So if you are making it, if you want the dress to have it, you can elongate it, make it longer. But if you see, notice this particular one is on the front, so it does not have so much um, allowance. That is just normal with the skirt length. So what we have here is 14 inches. I've folded my pattern paper. I'm going to come to this point like this. I'm going to measure about 16 inches. What I'm doing that is... Or 17 inches because I want to have excess so at the end of the day I will trim it and then if you are lining the skirt after everything you can line your skirt so I'm just going to use that 17 inches like that just mark it around so like I said how wide depends on you so for this one I have about 14 inches so that in total that's 28 so if you are making for a normal long skirt, you can do as much as 20 inches. That's what I mean by 20 inches. That's folded into two like this, 20 inches. So that will work for a normal skirt. For people that don't like um, extra, um, that don't like statement. Or if you want statement, you want it to be really full, you can do 25 inches. But 20 inches is still okay. So now I'm going to transfer this one to my fabric now. I'll cut it out on my fabric. Okay, so I've cut out the the center piece now. So now let's move over to our machine. So let's let me show you how to stitch it. So before we stitch, okay, yes, before we stitch, I almost forgot. I'm going to pleat this. I'm just going to pleat it. So I'll take it back to my ironing table. So you can actually fix it like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and pleat. I'll pleat, let this side be on this side. So it just depends on how many pleats you can take. So I'm just going to go and iron it down and then it will be like this. So I'll go ahead and go and do that. Okay, so welcome to our machine. So you can see what I was talking about, the pleats. So you can see I've pleated it. So you see it's opened up, but I'm just going to leave it like this. So we're going to start uh, stitching. Now. So this is our skirt. I'm going to take this edge like this. I'm going to turn it like this. This is the right side. This is the wrong side. So please, right side facing right side. And then I'm going to stitch this edge like this to the down part. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead now and stitch. Okay, so you can see I finished stitching the first one. So you see how it is looking now. So you see that our skirt is taking shape. So you see it. So the next thing, I'm going to take the second piece. So I want you to note, I'm not stitching this um, center line. I'm not closing it yet. So I'm just going to continue what I did on this side. So I'll turn this one also, the right side, facing the right side. And then from this same point, whether our notch point, I'm going to stitch it to the down part like that so after stitching the other side so this is what you get so you see that it is looking like what we have already so you can see so the next thing is for us to join the center part so to join it we're just going to take it like this so I want you to take a very good look at it. So you make sure that this part, it does not go in. Let it come out like this on this side. So you see what I mean? Don't allow it to go inside. So because if you stitch it inside, it will come out on that side. So you pull it into the wrong side. And then we're going to stitch now. 
going to explain something to you so i had to use a different color of thread so that you understand it so like i said when you stitch you pull it in and then make sure that that straight stitch ends on the same line with the goddess um, side stitch you understand so that's why i had to use this color of thread so that it will be obvious so for that triangle on the center that you can do so what you're just going to open up this part like this so i'm going to show you so i'll just use my chalk just to secure it down so i'm just going to come so where that stitch stop you are just going to mark like create like a triangle like that come like this and then you bring the other one to this center and then bring it here like this you understand so i hope you understand so you stitch like a triangle making sure that everything ends here At the end of the day, so you like I said, I had to use a different stitch. So you see what we have here. So I'll take it back to my ironing table and iron it, and then show you how it should look like. Okay. So at the end of the day, so you can see what we have. So you see our sketch. So now you trim off all of your excess. You trim your excess. Insert your dart, and then you can turn with the line. So I'll show you the inside. So you see how the inside is looking like. So now you can turn your skirt with the lining and then the down part. So for the down part, you cannot shape, you cannot decide to shape the down of your skirt. So it depends on how you want to shape on it. So if it is a tail, so you can make it longer. But if it is for the back, you can make it longer. But if, since it is for the front, so you are just going to trim it normal. So at the end of the day, so you can see how our skirt is looking like. So when you put it on, it's it tends to open up. So once it's not worn, it's going to be looking like this. So thank you so much. I've now come to the end of this video. Please hit on the like button to support this video. Share this video with your friends, and then also drop a comment for me on the comment section. So thank you so much. See you in the next video. God bless you.